Hello, I'm back. I know you guys missed me. I got a ton of comments on YouTube. I tried to reply to all of them. I do have an interesting story why I was away for so many months. And I will tell it at the end of the video because I understand not everyone wants to hear it. So I'll go straight to the point. So you might have heard that Marshmallow was released for Android devices, uh, for phones and tablets and everything. Um, and also for the watch. So in this video, we're going to get Android 6.0.1, I believe, into our Android Wear watches. You can see here about and versions. There we go. It's Android Wear 1.4 and Android OS 6.0.1. So let's get started, shall we? The first thing we have to do is download the necessary file, which is this one, the Gear 2 Wear 6 re, re, well, REL6, which is release 6.tar. Uh, this file will be available in the description of the YouTube video. And if you find download it on a zip file, just uh, unzip it using WinRAR or just a Mac. Uh, Macs can unzip it easily. Just make sure not to uncompress the tar file or you'll get a folder with a bunch of stuff that you don't know what it is. You, you need the tar file. And you will also need Odin. Uh, in this case, I'm using version 3.0.9. Uh, which works perfectly for what we need. The first step on our watch is going to be boot into download mode. This will be done by holding the power button until you get the rebooting screen. It doesn't matter if you come from Tizen or at a previous version of Android Wear, the steps will be the same. When you get the rebooting screen, you tap several times and now tap two times to select, oh sorry, tap once only to select download and hold to select. Great, now we're in download mode and we'll move to the computer. In the computer, uh, once we have the device in download mode and connected to the computer, we first have to make sure we have the drivers installed. So I will leave the link in the description to the Samsung USB drivers. You have to install them first and you will get a notification that the drivers were installed successfully. I didn't have that notification because I already had them installed. So, well, yeah. Now we will open Odin. Mm -hmm. If it wants to open. Wow. Well, sorry, my computer is a little slow today. All right, so we open Odin. Remember, Odin consists of two files, the main application and another small file with configuration stuff. You need that two files to be together, okay? That's important. Now, if your device was connected successfully, you will have the good added sign with the blue com thing. Uh, you will select AP. And now, browse for the file we selected earlier. Sorry, we downloaded earlier. I have it in my desktop. And here it is. Gear 2 Wear 6, Release 6. Okay. We open that file. Once it's selected and you have the binary size, uh, we have to make sure auto reboot is selected, repartition is not, and every set time is selected. Everything else should be untouched. Okay, uh, we will press start and it will start flashing. Excellent. Uh, by now, uh, we have the progress bar up here and also a progress bar on the watch. Uh, it will take some time and then it, it will reboot the watch.
Now the flashing has finished. The watch will reboot and you will see it will go into recovery after a few boots. There we go. Now inside recovery we have to wipe and make a, make a factory reset, okay? So we just select wipe and swipe and swipe. Okay, I can't do this. There we go. <laughs> and just wait for the factory reset to occur. Okay, so it's complete. We will go back. Go to home. Ah, oh, the screen is so small. Okay, and reboot. System. Now it will take a while rebooting and it should greet us to our welcome screen. All right, it took a few minutes and now we're in the welcome screen, as you can read in this Chinese text. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, so now it's all pretty much done. All you have to do is select your language, which I have been asked which are the languages available. Well, we have all the languages from Android Wear. We won't add or remove any. So you can see pretty much here yeah, or just Google it if Android Wear has your language. I'll use English United States and well I'll, I'll just pair with my phone but you can do that by yourself just remember to use the the Android Wear app and you'll be all right okay thank you very much for watching if you are only interested in the installation if you have any questions you can comment down below and I'll be glad to answer as quick as possible or if you have an emergency you can contact me via hangouts here will be my hangouts account or via email, which is the same account, it's just my Gmail. Uh, good luck, and if you have any issues, first, make sure you are using a proper USB cable. Second, make sure your USB port works. Third, make sure you have the drivers. And fourth, if everything else is correct and it's still failing, download your file again, it might be corrupted. Okay, uh, have good luck, and now I'll explain why I was away, if you're interested in watching. Hey, I'm glad you stood to hear my story. So I was away for this many months because I am in high school. I'm only 18 years old. Um, my school has a program in which you have to, you need to have an international experience in order to graduate. And you have to choose between several countries where you can go. And I chose China because I am studying Chinese as a third language um, in order to, you know, improve my Chinese and also to know this culture, which is so different and so far away from my country, which, which is Mexico, where I live in. Um, so I left at the beginning of February. And when I left, I had the goal of still be connected to the development of the watch and to be able to continue making videos and I was going to try to find the time and well it everything sounded very well at least at the beginning then I realized how hard it actually was the great pharaoh of China I knew I knew it existed I knew Google was blocked and all those th sort of things but I wasn't aware that VPNs are slow and expensive. I didn't have a VPN on my laptop, for example, uh, so I couldn't really respond to comments on YouTube efficiently. I wasn't, of course, able to upload or edit because I have my laptop is a MacBook Air from 2008, so it's not editing material. Um, and I really just failed at my goal of editing video and keeping you guys updated. Uh, this version of Marshmallow was released back in March uh, as a beta, and it's still a beta. The developer, Victor uh, GJ, 
that's his username. Yeah, he's the main developer. He's pretty much the guy that makes everything possible. Um, he just had a baby. Uh, I'll show a picture. His beautiful baby. Um, and so he was away for a long time. So the development really halted. And he's also now focusing on a lot more watches like the LG G watch, the uh, Samsung Gear S, the Gear S2, I don't know. Well, a lot of other watches. Uh, so we're not the only ones just waiting for him to help us. So let's wish him luck with all of his projects and let's hope he is able to come back to us soon and keep us updated. Uh, right now, Android Wear 2.0 has been released. Uh, it will be Android N, and it's been available for a few devices on the market, just very few, uh, and just as demos. Um, and he he's trying to port it to the LG G Watch, and later we'll see if we are capable of running it. I'm not sure because our internal memory is very small. We have a very low amount of RAM and just it's pretty hard to know if we will be able to run it i'm sure he will do everything possible uh, to make it happen but well i think we're getting to the the end of our device's life sadly i'll have to buy a new watch <laughs> okay so thank you very much for watching like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it of course you can comment about everything and um, down below either the watch related or if you have questions of my trip i could answer them the questions about china i would be glad to answer them all right so thank you very much and bye bye